we are entering into the villages of the upper mountains of Utah here as we head out to this might be Penguich, but no, I'm we've not had sure. Penguich. Okay. Um, resort at least. Okay. I don't think this is Penguich. I think this might be now let's see if the stuff on the side of there if we can tell uh-huh. from the stuff on the side of the church if it's first whatever. Um, it's St. Gertrude. No, nope, that doesn't give us any hints. <laughs> it's not St. Gertrude. No, this Mower. is not the town of St. Gertrude. I was hoping it'd be first, you know, whatever, Baptist Church of yeah. whatever. don't help much either because they're all 80 south, you know. Like they're all Main Street way. and then 100, 200, whatever. Yeah, yeah. There's the sign right there that says, Welcome to Penguin, so that solves that mystery. Penguin, and it looks like there's a speed trap here. So, we're doing our best to maintain 30 miles an hour because we think we're going to get ticketed in here. Or just people have, obviously. Yeah. They probably have a reason for wanting you to maintain 30 miles an hour. Yeah, They're so. They're not used to a whole bunch of traffic coming through. It's like we're coming into the downtown area here of Penguich. Um, but we're taking a right. Yep. You can kind of see some of the buildings, what it looks like. Yeah, it's only like two blocks further. And I'm yeah. sure we'll hit some more beautiful stuff. Find yep. Pioneer. All drugs that. Whoa, that's a Radio Shack. It needs that. Yeah, and the social hall is still up. Yeah. Wow. They're getting there. Have some kind of farmers market Mar- festival yeah. or something. Today. Yeah. Well, I see a hot air balloon team. A lot, oh. of, a lot of hot air balloon teams out here, so there must be doing something with that. And there's banners too that. Talk about the last weekend in June. That it's, would be this weekend. Yep. So um, hot air balloon festival. Yep. We are now on the scenic byway number 12, the All American Road. And I can see why they call it that. You know, in the distance there, you can see like the cool red rocks. A lot of rock formations right here. see that it could be a river there's more water it just depends on how much water there is but we're in the summertime so there's not so much water right now is about 8,000 feet and just so many colors you got pinks and whites and greens and grays it's very diverse around blue, here blue sky very blue it almost looks like the clouds are part of the 
mountainscape in the background there. Like they were just other mountains back there, but they're clouds. Okay. Coming up to we're the Escalante it. Petrified Forest. We're in the state park now. No. Yeah. Oh, it said there. state park. State park, and then oh. I can presume there's the national park bit oh. or the national monument. Because over here is supposed to be the Petrified Forest. We are at the Escalante Interagency Visitor Center. Let's see what kind of exhibits they have out here. You can fill a container, but no bathing or dishwashing here. Do that elsewhere. Kevin B got the stamps. We got four. We got the Glen Canyon stamp, the Grand Staircase, the Old Spanish Trail, and a bonus Smokey the Bear. And we'll check out, see what else is around. Mm -hmm. We have a Triceratops model here. That's kind of cool. And there's a video to watch. Probably watch the video. Lots of rock samples here. Sheep. Petroglyphs, all sorts of stuff here to see. Back in Cannonville. Wow, I wish gas was still 422. I'd be like, let's get some extra gas. I don't think that's the right price. No, no, you can see the Sinclair pumps. It's out of order. Yeah. This is the other visitor center for us. And so we're gonna check out really here. Mm -hmm. Looks like this one's controlled by the billium, so I don't think it's gonna yeah. count for yeah. so for our award, but I'm willing to take up the extra stamp and look around. They have like a really cool like visitor center stockade with fence stockade fence. And I'm, I'm liking this visitor center a lot. And the cool bell. Yeah, nice the visitor center. They have this cool walkway. You can see Native American huts. Nobody manning it, but it's still cool looking. I like how they have all the different. Oh, this is how they get water out. Um, out of the plants. Getting a glass of water back then was a lot of work. Living out here back then was a lot of work. But I don't have to do it. And here you have a T-Rex. I think that's what it is. On this side of the park, do they do any excavations? Oh. And that's where all these excavations have been taking place in the last 20 years. I just think yeah. that's amazing. Coming in through Bryce Canyon, um, passing by Mossy Cave, which we're not going to go into. There's lots of people parked at Mossy Cave Trailhead. Um, but really cool Rock formations, oranges. yeah. It's just a very vibrant color of orange out here in the park, so that's kind of cool. Cool you formations can, and cool You can tell it snows right? though with those like markers. Yeah. Those are snow plant markers. Yeah. Yes. Brass Canyon is a unique combination. Yeah. Nice, really cool rock formations plus really cool color. Yep. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video as we went through Escalante, some small towns in Utah, and finally Rock Canyon. Thank you for watching and we will see you on the next video.